Okay, being a black folks, basically we're at the April 20, I think it's 25th, or no, 23rd is showing there. Okay, we go to the 20th, yeah, I get the 25th here now, but the most important thing that I could see through this whole thing was, is basically I guess we'll pull back here with the sun and the super giants coming up. Watch this part of the screen back here, on here on the screen, but watch here as we get into the sun coming up and watch, I'm going to pause. And you're going to get it, and you get the sun and the super giants, and then you see the super giants will go down, and then we will rotate to the sun that we get to have for right now. But most importantly, check this signature of whatever that is between, because the sun is projecting this back here. And also, if you notice here, we have two projections coming out of the sun in one area instead of that one signature and we do know that basically you get this from objects being in front of the sun every photo you've ever seen where the idea that you have a sun dog in it has basically been that there is something in front of the sun and it does a hologram to you wherever you're at on earth okay now check this out as it comes up because you're going to see that it looks like the kind of marks that an insect would put on a melon if you've ever seen a melon that's had a bug eat on its outside core and then you get those tracks of whatever bug that was that ate on a melon or whatever kind of piece of fruit that you've ever seen okay now watch this as it comes up because this is a hologram of something that's in front of one of the suns and as you can see here too you can kind of see that the idea that there is a bright sun to the left of the sun and you can also see two signatures of sunlight coming along instead of just one okay and this is just starting here now I'm gonna keep freezing it as it goes up and it'll get more when you get the biggest I think it might be here but then again I could be wrong as I'm just taping this you will see you see these lines check this out because that's getting mirrored here like a projection screen in our atmosphere and in the sky as you see this hologram come around, okay? And it's also a double take of the hologram, almost 3D here. And remember, you're seeing two rays of light and not the one as we'd normally see one signature, and you can pretty much tell that there's another sun over here to the left and there. And if you get a welding, and make sure you look at the sun. There's a date in June when, uh, I believe it is gonna be Jupiter is going to move in front of the sun, okay? So there's going to be, and they call that something, I can't remember what it was. So anyway, let's watch this as it goes up. I can just keep on progressing it up. Now remember, we got the dark spots. And we've also had this over here. Now those dark spots are there and, and there and there, and they stay there, okay? And as you can see through the lens, that it's not the lens dirty, okay? Never is. They clean it all the time. Okay, now we'll keep moving those age marks or whatever the heck they are. And what's funky is it looks like, and we always talk about space in a tube, it looks like a burnt out bulb or a, a picture tube that's been like a TV set that's been broke. <laughs> and it's not far off of some theories out there, okay? And factual, actually, it's right there and it's showing you. So here's whatever it is that the sun is mirroring like that and check that out because that is space. And I'll play the whole movie and you're going to see this right here, okay? You are getting a optical view. Now, can you, you realize that any native anything ages back? millions of years ago, thousands of years ago, would have seen this when this happens in stereo play of us rotating in the movement of the suns in the supergiant. And also look at all the rays coming off the sun. You know that there's more than just the sun there right now. And yes, we know the sun is in fuego right now. It's doing all kinds of solar storm stuff. And they're calling it now, NASA's calling it, and they're saying that they started calling it back in 2009 a solar tsunami. Well, they told us also not too long ago, some of their statements, the idea that the solar storm was to end, okay, and everything was calm, and now we got the most vicious, wild sun stuff that we've seen in mankind's history, known, and they don't say it, and nothing's close to Earth, ladies and gentlemen, that's a bunch of BS too, so I think I got all guard up, well look what we got there, but this is very dramatic, you cannot discount what you're seeing here and also here. And yes, we get 3D effects from objects that are in front of the sun. And remember, they have two rays of, and it could be two different suns. We're sure pretty much, we know it's two different suns, okay? Because I've just showed you, back up the video a little bit here as I'm just slowly going ahead. So here we go, and we're going to keep on moving this 
wild image up and as you saw we'll hit play here and just play the video and as you saw there there's your dark images black light everybody's arguing about that and they've been arguing about it for years it's basically objects between us and the sun and the sun comes up in the east and that was the sun going down in the west okay and this is shooting east and shoot, shooting up at and those are you can argue with whoever you want to argue with they say that they're airplanes you know the airplanes turn their lights off and nothing travels that fast and we've proven that in the past you can watch my videos on that I'm not even dissecting that anymore so as we come through this we'll get up I'm just showing you the whole night sky so you realize what we are getting because basically you're gonna see in this screen basically there's not my I mean there's t plenty of stars and planets here but what I'm saying is factually you are going to see uh, that image is going to get propagated here in the sky, okay, in space through our atmosphere, and this is at 13,700 some feet, okay. Now I'm just letting it play, and it's going to naturally come up, and you're going to be able to watch right here and see all that come up, okay. And I think I paused it as much as I can, and you basically can watch the video and pause it yourself so you know that I'm not playing with you. There's the sun and the super giants. And as they change somewhat direction a little bit, they'll crisscross, crisscrossing, crisscrossing, and then here comes the sun, suns, as you see one to the left a little bit, and there you get that signature. Now, isn't that a unique signature that you're seeing there come up? So, no matter what, we're going to watch the supergiants do their action, because we know there's way more than one sun, and there they will as they m do their dance coming up. So, they're dancing, they're dancing, and let's get the sun we're going to get for the day. Okay, and then we got this one here, and basically I think I can back it up just a little bit, and as you see, coming up, you can see, and then we know that we're getting all this scramble action, okay, 3D effect, 3D effect, and there's your wild signature that we're getting. Check that out. Now that's the inner one, and then you'll see this other one come clean. So look at all those scribble marks of whatever it is out in space. And it's basically everything that you can see with your eyeballs is a movie screen. And the sun and, and the supergiants and whatever that object is that's in front of the suns, not just the sun, is going to give you that image right there. And I don't know why I'm getting the black. I've never gotten that. But if you see me doing it earlier. So anyway... And that's it. That's as much as you get. But you get that signature. There's that image. You cannot deny that image. What the heck is that? So NASA and every scientist on Earth can give me one of that one because you ain't never saw it before. And if you have, send me a picture of you having a picture of that before. Okay? Because there's a 3D image of something out there in front of suns, not just the sun. That is wild, okay? And you even seen this here earlier, and I can back that up because this ends up playing out. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll see that early spot again. There it is. Make sure you just have to back up just a little bit for that. There's the beginning signature, and yes, it's 3D, okay? So we got three bounces when you get a 3D effect like that. Look at the technology of a 3D camera. So, and remember, you see these signatures out here, and we've seen all this stuff before, but now we're getting two signature lines in a row. And there you go, that's that wild signature there. And then here's some more as it's going to come up. You're going to get a, a mirror, just like a telescope, a, a refracting telescope, I believe, a light refracting telescope. And there you go. And this is out of a webcam. Wild. So, there you go, and thanks to the French, the French and Canadian, and Canadian and French, whichever way they want to say it, uh, telescope over there, in Hawaii. Aloha, mahalo, and uh, 
keep giving us good shots. This is great. So later, being on out for now.